Halo Reach. Bungie's goodbye message. Condensed into a package of thrill, emotion, and unforgetfulness. Its story is one that, when told, gives an impact that cannot be forgotten. A story about a losing war, yet their soldiers still prevail. And damn, does this game hit. This is fully my favorite Halo game, and maybe even my favorite game of all time. Shit, I like this game so much, I've already made a video like this. Maybe not as good, but I'm back. Back to give this game its well-deserved, beautiful review. So without any more waffling, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. My name is Ebonic, and I hope you enjoy my Halo Reach essay. <laughs>
gold, destroying the Grafton and giving us a view of the absolutely huge Covenant Supercarrier. Throughout the game, moments like these, where everything we do gets undermined instantaneously, keeps happening. The start of the fall of Reach in itself can be signified by not only you falling quite literally, but the death of the noble team's heart of Reach themselves, George. George's death hits hard, firstly because he was the first ever noble death and the build up to it using George's strength to throw you off and the Spartan who is so passionate about Reach doesn't even die on it. He literally died thinking he did something by detonating the super carrier, but literally right after it's detonated, it gets overthrown by multiple just coming back out of nowhere, meaning George just died for nothing. Right as you return to Reach, all that can be seen is destruction, death and defeat. Making it to the city, Noble Six finds the aftermath of the slaughter, yet still fights to get anyone he can to safety, and it seems everywhere you have gone and will go just gets destroyed. This gets shoved directly in your face in New Alexandria, a beautiful city that Noble Six stares at, hopeless to this chaos. Like this city is already being destroyed as you arrive, but whilst playing this mission you witness it being glassed multiple times. Also there's a great easter egg in this level that turns your vehicle into either a pelican or phantom depending on what you are in, which I find very cool, but I'm getting distracted. The end of this mission sets in stone that we have lost reach. With Cat unsure specifically to this, keeps her hope still trying to figure out what we can do. Until damn with the fucking crank 90s 360 Trump rally shot on the cap. And for fuck's sake is that piece of shit. Oh and you think this guy is done and won't return again? Just wait your silly little asses for later. Cat dying depletes all hope in the noble team, as Cat was pretty much the personification of hope throughout the story, creating plans and reasoning with Carter when he doesn't believe enough. What's worse is that literally in the next mission you find yourself sneaking into a tech facility, right? after the text expert was just one pump. And speaking of this mission, this mission shows the fall of reach I think best, because even my young ape brain first playing this realized, oh this is like the other level. And yes, the package literally has the same layout as only sword base, but ruined and completely destroyed. Like Halo Reach's designs of these maps are truly good, and it is so cool yet sad to see a place that was truly bright and blooming turn into a wasteland of defeat and distraught. But you know, a great thing about this mission is, damn it looks sexy, look at this cave bro, damn my god. But no, really is that by the end of this mission you get a true purpose after being down in the dirt for so long. Cortana. If you don't know who Cortana is, I'm honestly surprised you've made it this far into the video. Like, what the fuck? And oh, actually, speaking of making it this far, nah, I'm just kidding, I did this already. But by being chosen by the AI of Cortana to be your carrier, hope is restored. Not for Reach, fuck no, but for humanity itself, which is what your next mission is to get Cortana on the Pillar of Autumn and in turn to Master Chief. And even better, no one's dying in this mission. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, wait, before I even get to Carter's death, look at this fucking badass elite assassination. God fucking damn. Whilst in the Pelicans, Things are just not looking good, Rev. Carter is injured and the rest of the Noble team are engaged by some banshees. Carter uses himself as a distraction as Emil and Noble Six jump down to continue the mission. And it's not until a scarer comes out of nowhere, where it seems like things are going to take a turn for the worst, until Carter, that son of a bitch, he sacrifices his life in order for Emil and Noble Six to proceed. And damn, what an absolutely goaded way to go out. This guy even says an outro at the end. I'm surprised there's not even that fucking non-copyright outro song there too. But you might think we're finished. No. I mean, almost, but no. Arriving at the Pillar of Autumn, and Mill decides to stay back and take down phantoms and whatever actually gets in the way of the Pillar of Autumn's takeoff. But of course, this is Halo Reach. Nothing ever goes to plan. Emil's death was absolutely badass. Ironic since the close combat expert gets backstabbed, but badass nonetheless. Cause he takes two elites down, and holy shit, these motherfuckers look familiar. As soon as I saw that piece of shit was here, I went straight for his ass. Meow, fuck out that way. Of course I had to hit him with the one two go to sleep. Bullets were not enough for this guy. I had to get my revenge. But taking over from Emil and getting the pillow of autumn out of here, your mission is finally complete. No reward, no way to safety, and no more hope. You are left, in complete contrast to the beginning of the game, alone and in a fight to the death. Your death. What is so eerie about this final fight is the music. It's some like final horrific tune that emphasizes Noble Six's aloneness and impending doom. Despite knowing there's nothing left, we still fight, just as every other noble did. Every noble died with honor and true to themselves. Like George loving Reach despite not being on it, Cat with mechanical failure, Jun the stealth expert probably being off screened, Carter dying for his team, and Emil dying at close combat. Which brings us to Noble Six, known for being a lone wolf, being the last one left behind, and going missing in action. Thank you.